Episode 8, Port Klang to Thailand, 9th to the 11th of March 2024. Back in Port Klang, as a rock and roll girl has turned up. Living large, I'm back at the Yacht Club. These guys all charge. I think it. But it's a beautiful atmosphere, and I just need a night off. Tuesday the 5th of March, I collected a rock and roll girl from LPB's customs warehouse and uh, both bikes chained under my window where I'm sorting out my kit. I had breakfast with my customs agent, Miss Mindy. 24516. Here we go. Panniers had been bent during shipping. These guys straightened it out for free. Short tourist ride, no, rainbow umbrellas, little India. Very colourful, just for show, no sound. Another floating fishing village where I stopped for a pot of tea at this restaurant over the water. While checking rock and roll girl systems, filled her up, pumped up the tyres, checking out the 8 inch tab navigation system with the downloaded maps and then offline. Uh, it's been good and really loving the street food here. Just about to take lovely little FZ back to Kenny. It, I really enjoyed my time on this bike. It is a really beautiful bike and I'm so grateful to Kenny for the land of it. Just dropped Kenny's bike off and he's waiting at the train station to get back to Port Klang. Absolutely chucking it down. You're gonna read the signs, jumping onto a train. Most trains have got three or four carriages for ladies only. On one of my Facebook posts, someone asked if I was picking up the lingo. Returning on the train, I uh, spotted this language educator. And you can hear the message in Malay and then in, in English. So if you want to learn Malay, ride the public train. It's great, mate. Downloading maps and drinking tiger beer getting ready for tomorrow began datak this is where they take the ferry out to the sky mirror which on a nice day at low tide they get a lot of reflections and the um, mosque Looks like they're starting to get set up for their weekend markets. I'll just go and have a quick look uptown. I'm tired and this is a little powerful happening place. I'm going to stop here tonight and I've got a cheap room. Saturday afternoon. Again, the tuck on the waterfront. The kids have got all of these battery operated vehicles. They're just driving around having fun. There's a big market. It seems fairly normal on the weekends. Cheap hotel, but it was good, it was comfortable. The next day I rode out to look at the Leaning Tower. It's a weekend and so there's lots of motorcycle clubs come out for a ride. A Facebook follower spotted me and sent me this beautiful picture on comment. Back in Georgetown, Penang, uh, this is a cheap hotel behind Chuala Street. I really love this street. It is a massive tourist destination that happened simply by opportunity a lot of places a lot of houses turned into restaurants bars and hotels Rosie, just because of backpackers with it where are you from i'm from lancashire lancashire from and another table full of bums it's posh and my band buddy my singing buddy <laughs> Traffic lights have got this countdown, eight, seven, six, five. It's better than the Christmas light at the drags. One, go! Rock and roll girl with her big 
aluminium panniers on each side and sway across the back end. It doesn't flow through the traffic like water the way lovely little FZ did. But she does flow through like honey. Near enough, nobody's sort of turning across our path. Okay, let's go. Lovely little FZ would fit here, but rock and roll girl with her big fat bum really needs to slow down a little bit. Oh dear, look out! Stop, 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 stop! Nearly missed the motorcycle lane. We don't want to have to go through the toll gates. They got these lovely little lanes around the toll gate. Sometimes there's a petrol station on the other end, sometimes it's just a Muslim prayer room. Just banging down the highway, counting K's on my way to the Thailand border. Uh, fairly ordinary sort of a ride, but highways are good for getting from this point to that point. In Georgetown to the Thailand border. No, it was not this simple. This is just getting into the border gates. It actually took me nearly an hour to get through the border. There was a big drama where I nearly was not allowed through and had to go back to Thailand to wait two to three weeks for a green paper. But that was only because of the inefficiency of these idiot staff. The next fellow that came along, yep, not a drama. He filled in the paper that he needed and away I went. It was fantastic. You've just got to stand your ground and say, no, this is the way it is. So the first job is to get a SIM card and a bit of Thai cash. Malay rider that come up and said good day. I found myself this beautiful room that was quite cheap. It's about thirty dollars a night. laundry day and dinner across the road. A posh hotel for my first night in Thailand. Yeah.